Are you ready for this? Here we go. Your absolute favorite time of the month. It's time for another choose a photo video. This is truly one of my most requested and also one of my absolute favorite videos to make. And this one is a really, really, really good one. So I hope you're ready. In today's video, I will be giving you the exact message you need to hear, a prediction of what's going to happen either this week or this month, plus a meditation to use again, based off whichever photo you chose. So I'm not only sharing your messages and predictions, but I will also be sharing the exact tool that will be most helpful and beneficial for you based on whichever picture you chose. So if you've been feeling sort of stuck or uncertain with any situation right now, listen up because I'm going to give you the exact message that you need to hear today. Oh, I hope you're ready. So if you have never seen one of my choose a photo videos, let me tell you that these are so unbelievably accurate that time and time again, people tell me how truly shocked they are. I mean, seriously, just read through some of the comments on my other videos of these choose a photo videos and you will see for yourself and you'll see for yourself in just a minute. Now let's get right into the details. If you've been here before, you know the drill, but just in case you're new, how it works is that I'm gonna put four photo cards up on the screen, and then I will give you an accurate prediction and manifestation message that you need to hear based on whichever photo you chose. And if you like these types of videos, I created a playlist called Choose a Photo. The link is down below where you can find more of these videos. You can rewatch them all and get the messages and predictions that you need to hear. And really quickly, if you're new here, I'm Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach and manifesting expert focused on getting you transformational results. My whole channel is all about manifesting the law of attraction with meditations and more, where I share the tools you need to get the results you want. I post brand new videos every single Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And before we get into this video, go ahead and hit that little thumbs up button below if you like these types of videos so that I know to make more of them for you. It takes just a quick second, but it lets me know that you're watching and getting value. So once you do that, let's get right into it. Now, like I've mentioned in my previous videos, this is not tarot, this is not any kind of psychic thing. This is actually based in psychology, energy, visualization, and interpretation. And like I mentioned, you will be shocked at how accurate this gets. So here's how it's going to work. In just a moment, I'm going to show you four different photos up on the screen at the same time. And without overthinking it or going too deep or going back and forth, you're going to choose just one. And I will tell you what it means, what's about to happen for you, the message that you need to hear, and the exact meditation that you need to start using based on whichever photo it is. So just pick one, let it be intuitive. Don't pick one that you think is pretty. Just notice, what do you feel called to immediately? even if you don't like the picture. What do you feel drawn to? It's not about what you like, it's about what you are called to. That's how you'll get the right message. Really trust yourself and notice the first one that your eyes seem drawn to. You will know which one to choose. And something I highly recommend doing is coming back to either this video or any of the other videos in that choose a photo playlist, either tomorrow or in a few days, or maybe even a week or a month and see which one you're drawn to if you're drawn to the same photo or a new photo. So here are the four photos. And again, just pick one and I will tell you the message and prediction based on whichever photo you choose. Here they are and you have just a few seconds. Okay, hopefully you picked one and if you didn't, go back and do it quick. Don't overthink it, just pick and move on. But if you did, let's get right into the messages and predictions. These are all time stamped for you in the description box. I know people always like to say, where's the time stamps? They're in the description box. If you chose the first photo of the light streaming in through the grapevines above, here is the message and prediction that you need to hear, as well as the meditation that you need to start listening to ASAP. So right now, whether you realize it or not, you are quite literally being elevated into a brand new level, a whole new playing field and a brand new energetic standard that you haven't experienced before. But don't let this newness scare you. Embrace it, knowing that you are worthy of it in every single way. There is this very powerful energetic pull that is drawing you very, very strongly towards a new level or a new goal, one that feels big. You may have been noticing it and also avoiding it, allowing yourself to stay playing small or maybe hiding or resisting this urge or pull, but it's time. It's time to raise your standards and believe in yourself and believe that it's all possible and go for it. Go for it knowing that you are worthy of this next level and of these big goals and dreams. The best part is, is that when you finally let yourself go for it, when you finally give yourself permission, following where you feel led, following where you feel called, what you want 
those big goals and dreams are all ready and waiting right there for you. The reward is literally right there and it's just waiting for you to raise your standards and step into your power and worth. So for the next few days, notice any specific tasks or any focus that seems to keep pulling you towards it because there is something there that you're meant to explore. Where do you keep feeling pulled to? Notice that over the next couple days. What is calling your attention in a really strong way? And if you aren't sure, meditate on it. Be sure to start using one of these two different options. You can use either the success activation subliminal or the higher self-guided meditation. They'll both be linked in the description box below, but either one of these is really going to help you step into this new level with confidence, with certainty. Just pick whichever one you prefer, whether you prefer a subliminal or a meditation. There's no right or wrong. Pick one of the two and you'll be good. And your prediction is that for this week, you are going to start seeing tons of symbols involving angels. And before you roll your eyes, just listen up, trust me. Even if you aren't religious, you are going to start seeing either angel drawings or hearing the word angel a lot, or you'll, you're gonna start seeing different symbols involving angels. I'm serious, even if you're not religious, be on the lookout and pay attention. You can't really notice something if you're not paying attention, so don't say like, oh, I didn't see anything. Were you paying attention? Be on the lookout for it. And these symbols are all just a friendly little reminder to stay committed to raising your standards and going after what you want. Be on the lookout for those little angels. They're gonna be everywhere. And if you see anything visual that you can get a picture of, share it and tag me in Instagram stories. I would love to see it. I feel like sometimes when I tell you what you're gonna start seeing evidence of, sometimes people roll their eyes, but then they're like, wait, it actually did happen. You'll see. Now, if you chose the second photo of the tiny little pieces of glass shattering, here is your message and prediction of what you need to hear, as well as the meditation you need to start using. And as a side note, if you were recently in my blocks clearing masterclass, this is going to resonate with you so, so much. I just got chills. <laughs> Can you see them? No, okay. But if you chose this photo, for some time now, there has been a situation or circumstance or person that has just been weighing heavy on you, making you feel trapped or stuck or just overall frustrated. But your focus on this situation or circumstance or person has actually been fueling it and giving it more power. The more you focus on it, the stronger it gets. And it's been keeping you trapped in a cycle. So this is your sign right now to take back your power. Take back your power. And you might be sitting there saying, well, how? Especially when something feels this heavy or frustrating, how do I take back my power? And the answer is to stop focusing on the problem and instead look for the solution, which is not giving it your power, not giving it your focus, not giving it your obsession or fixation or energy. Take back that power. It's time to break out of and shatter this barrier that's been keeping you trapped. And it's time to own your power. Let go of this cage. It's no longer useful to you. You are free from it when you decide to be. You have the power to see things differently and break through the ceilings of what is and break through the ceilings of circumstance and instead choose possibility. Whatever is happening right now isn't forever. And when you decide to shift your focus, everything around you will begin to shift with it. Instead of being focused on what is, instead decide where you're going. It doesn't matter what is right now, it matters where you're going. What new standards do you wanna set? What new boundaries do you wanna create? Where do you wanna be? Go there. It's all possible for you, so focus on what you want with sheer determination and expectation that everything always works out for you in the best way, always, because it does. You get to be supported. You get to have what you want because you are worthy. End of story. This situation does not get your attention anymore. Take back that power. And your prediction is that you are going to start seeing evidence of support daily. Whether it's support in the form of maybe a stranger buying you coffee or someone offering to help you with something or maybe a family member offering support in some way, you are going to see signs of support daily. But here's the thing. When this support shows up, accept it. Let yourself be supported. You are worthy of it. And if you chose this photo, be sure to start listening to the self-concept meditation. And also, if you haven't taken my Clearing Blocks Masterclass, I feel like if you chose this photo, you would really benefit from this so much. It's a one-hour training that you get lifetime access to to go over and over again. 
And inside this masterclass, I use rapid resolution therapy to work directly with your subconscious mind to clear blocks and allow you to manifest from a deep cellular level. This is an entire nervous system refresh, one that you can use over and over again for anything you struggle with, any blocks that come up. It's a timeless resource that is so unbelievably beneficial. And like I said, you get lifetime access. I'll leave a link up here and a link down below if you wanna try that out for yourself. Now, if you chose the third photo of the colored, sort of blurry, distorted lenses, here is the message and prediction that you need to hear, as well as the meditation that you need to start using. Right now, you are being required to get more clear on what it is that you want and to shift your focus. Make it simple. If you could have anything in this life, what would it be? And don't choose from the lens of limits and what you should want or what you should do or what your parents want for you or your spouse or anything like that. What do you actually desire and what would feel good to do or good to have done? Because right now there are so many possibilities available to you, but because you haven't gotten clear on what it is exactly that you want, everything feels a bit scattered. You may be really busy and moving a million miles a second some days. Trust me, I get it, I've been there too. But how can you slow down and get more clear? For the next week, try setting a timer on your phone, reminding yourself to take quick five minute breaks to yourself, to get still, to get quiet, and ask the question, what do I want? Letting yourself fully get clarity on what it is so that you can move forward and actually get it, rather than being scattered all over the place. Because if you don't know what you want, how can you expect to have it? Focus through the lens that anything and everything is possible for you. And it's all simply a decision away from lining up everything that needs to happen. Your prediction is that this week, you are going to have one of those amazing core memory happy events. You know those events that happen that you look back on with such happiness and nostalgia? Yeah, one of those is going to happen for you this week. Get excited, those are the best. And when this does happen for you, I want you to say in your head, more, more of this. And better yet, how about any moment that's just feeling amazing and happy and something you want more of? In that moment, allow a smile to fill up your soul. You know that feeling. As you say, more, more of this. You could just say it in your head, feel that happiness within you and just say, more, more of this. So anytime something really great happens that you want more of this week, allow that smile in your soul and simply say more, more, more. Focus through the lens of the moments you want more of and what you want specifically. And if you chose this photo, be sure to listen to the gratitude vortex meditation. I'll leave a link up here and a link down below. And if you chose the fourth photo of that street view between the two canyon walls, here is your message and prediction that you need to hear as well as the meditation that you need to listen to. Right now, you are experiencing a sort of crossroads with a specific decision that you need to make next. Whatever it is that you have to decide feels like it's going to have this really big impact on your life, which is why it feels like it's such a hard decision to make. While both options seem like they have pros and cons, you ultimately, deep down, know the answer on what to do next, even if it doesn't feel like it in an obvious way right now. You are being guided. You have a powerful operating system within you that knows exactly what to do. So it's time for you to access that guidance and tune into your intuition. I know that sounds easier said than done, but something that will really help is I want you to watch this video. I'm gonna leave a link up here and I'll also leave a link down below, but this video will really, really, really help you get the answer that you need that's already within you. That video that I want you to watch is going to show you a really strategic technique to pose the right question to prime your brain. But also something valuable to think about right now is if you made this decision right now and say you chose option one, would you feel relieved? Or would you feel sort of disappointed that option two was gone? Because that right there might be your answer. You can go from the opposite approach. If you were disappointed with one of these options being taken away right now, which option would it be? If it were taken away from you, which would you feel more disappointed about? I hope that's a really helpful way to think of it. And if you chose this photo, if you're a member of Create, go ahead and listen to the Guidance and Clarity meditation. And if you're not a member of Create, go ahead and listen to the Surrender and Let Go meditation. I'm gonna leave a link up here and a link down below. And if you want more information on joining Create or what Create is, 
You can click the link in the description box below, but you basically get access to over 58 of my meditations and subliminals that are not here on YouTube. You get a live Q and A with me every month and access to an entire on-demand manifestation library with workbooks, training videos, affirmations, mantras, so many amazing bonuses in there for you. So again, the link is in the description box below. And your prediction is, is that this week, this week specifically, you are going to start seeing tons of symbols of wild animals everywhere. And I know that may sound silly or strange, but it's gonna happen. And when you see these animals, it's such a great reminder because animals operate on their instincts. So when you see these little symbols of wild animals everywhere, remind yourself to trust your instincts. I mean, really, be on the lookout for these wild animals. I'm not gonna say there's gonna be like a lion in your front yard. It could be lions, birds, giraffes. There are endless options. They don't have to show up at your house. It doesn't have to be in person. It could be on a billboard, a sign, a text message, a photo you see on the computer, uh, a noise you hear on TV. But just watch how it shows up for you as a reminder to trust your instincts. I promise it's not as crazy as it sounds. And when you see these wild animals, try and take a picture and tag me on Instagram. I especially love when people are like, that sounds ridiculous. And then they see this symbol I told them and they're like, oh. And as a quick side note, when I look at this picture, this specific picture of these two canyon walls, it reminds me of that last episode of that HBO show, The Last of Us. Did anyone watch that? Don't worry, I'm not gonna share any spoilers, but it's that giraffe scene. That's what it's reminding me of. Also, that show was deeply disturbing. Those mushroomy things just completely creeped me out and got under my skin and I almost had to stop watching. Just disgusting. So if you were grossed out, don't watch that show. I literally have chills right now. Ugh, it was just, it was a lot. It was a good show, but it was a little, anyway, sorry. So those are the four photos. Let me know which photo you chose, if it was one, two, three, or four, and let me know if the message resonated with you. I always love hearing the results, especially from these choose a photo videos, and I pretty much read through all of them. And like I mentioned, if you wanna watch the other videos with the photos and predictions just like this one, you can click the link in the description box below for the choose a photo playlist. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also find me over on TikTok and Instagram at mkmagicmindset, and if you wanna learn more about me, my programs, how to work with me, and more, you can visit my website at mkmagicmindset.com, and I will see you in the next one.